Yeah. He yeah. just can't be there all the time. Well, I was thinking that... That might work. Do you want to take the bass out? I don't want it to be too high. I try to keep it off. You know, I have the bass on. You want to try that? See? It may have, it may be a light a light thing with guitar. Yeah. See the walls come close and then. It was. Guess what that it was, was very was. nice how you just played it. Hey Jet, this it can't the second verse can't be like the first verse. Does it have to be like that? No, it doesn't have to. That's just the way he's always played it. Because I miss the, I miss the, the kind of the, it's like a hook to me at the end of the first half to be. Da, 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 da. I miss that the second well, time around. You mean at the end, the end, the end, the, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with his vocal. Great players yeah, so sitting together in a room. So the end of verse one, you have the, the working out arrangements and creating magic. I miss it again in the same place on verse two. It's not a problem. You now put it in a different place. Right. Can you put it back in the same place? It's also in the middle. It's the second time. Yeah, and it's in the middle. It seems it's. See, that's why he sings that. Okay, but what would happen if the chord went and he still went we both? Sometimes the magic happens when the music stops. <laughs> a a feng shui. It needs a feng shui. I don't know, but nobody, the name of the album. nobody's written a song shui. called Funk shui. shui. Oh, that's a title right there. Fuck me. Funk shui. Funk shui. Funk shui. Funk shui. Funk shui. Steve Holly on drums and percussion. Try to go to the well every time. To the well with you, matey. Tom T-Bone Wolk on bass. Jed on keyboards. And me and my alter ego, Benoit, on guitar. We worked from early afternoon well into the night and early morning. At the end of the week, Jed and I flew back to Aspen with a hard drive full of great tracks, just begging for some vocals. We went into the Great Divide studio in Aspen, Colorado the very next day. I began layering the background vocals and brought in some friends to help with the singing. Plus a few guitar. Percussion overdubs. The Aspen sessions were engineered by Jamie Rosenberg, and he helped put together a hookup with something called Rocket Network, the first internet recording system. This turned out to be an important asset in finishing this album. Jed wanted to go back to his studio in Los Angeles to refine some of his keyboard parts. Now 
and I stayed in Aspen to complete my vocals. I said, now love, love baby, mm -hmm. no black from white or blue, I'll tell y'all, life can be a prison, mm -hmm. please remove your shame. Listen what I'm saying to you, baby. Love. Don't know no come, baby. Come again. Come, come again. Yeah. This is where the internet really came into its own. I'd be singing, and Jed would send a keyboard track to us in Aspen. We'd discuss it by phone or email, and I'd send him a track of the lead vocal that I was working on. I feel free. Five weeks later, we had a finished record. A very personal, musical, and rewarding project for me. One that I'll never forget. I thought it might be interesting to let you in on a little not-so-secret passion of mine and it's called Telemark Skiing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check this out. This is a state-of-the-art Telemark setup. As you can see, it differs a little bit from perhaps the Alpine skiing setup that you might be more familiar with. See, the heel moves. The boot is fixed at the toe, the heel is flexible, and the movement is kind of a genuflecting knee bend down the mountain. Telemark uh, came from the uh, the name of a town in Norway, and it kind of harks back to the old, ancient way of skiing in the, in the early days. But now it's evolved into a much more dynamic and a beautiful expression of um, movement on the snow. It's something that I fell in love with a number of years ago, and uh, I just, um, I'm just totally into it. So uh, I wanted you to check this out, and there's a ski film called Bliss, Total Telemark II by Nat Ross. And you know, I've achieved a lot in my life, and, uh, but I have to say, one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me was being included in the ski movie. So sit back and take a look at um, me fooling around in the snow. And uh, once again, thank you for buying the DVD. I hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Shake like Bootsy, step in time with more